Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a cute summer get ready with me. So we're going to get started with the hair first. I'm just taking out a small section from the back and we're going to start crimping my hair. I got this crimper from Amazon. I'll leave the link for it down below. I'm just going to set it to 210, which is the highest temperatures crimper goes to. So starting at the top of that section, you just want to hold the crimp there for about, I would say 30 seconds. So when you move down, try and line up the second section to the first section. So where the crimp ended last time, you want it to start from that bit, if that makes sense. Here I find a little bit of difficulty, as you can see, this is the first time you're using the crimper. So things are not working for me, but I do figure it out in the end. So we are good. I will say you have to be pretty careful when you're using the crimper because that whole pink area gets super super hot like I burnt myself several times whilst using it. This whole process took I would say about 40 minutes for me to crimp the whole wig. It does take a very very long time so if you do have somewhere to be like you have an hour to get ready do your hair the day before or the morning because this will make you late i'm going to show you this section in relatively real time i've only sped it up a little bit but um the rest of it i'm going to speed it up because y'all don't need to sit in here for 40 minutes with me and then i'm going to get back to you guys when the hair is almost done <laughs> So I'm just going to use the crimper to flatten the top of my closure and then I'm just going to neaten up the crimps on the front portion of my face so they look uniform. So I'm just going to add some hair oil to my hair to make the curls pop and give it a little bit more shine. Um, this hair oil is by L'Oreal. So now that the hair is done, we're going to move on to makeup. I've picked up my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Coco. This foundation is perfect for the summer. It is full coverage, but it feels lightweight like you have nothing on. And it makes you look like you're glowing from within. I can't describe it, like it just looks perfect in person. Um, the only thing is that it oxidizes slightly so as the day goes on it gets slightly darker but I don't mind I feel like it makes me look like a bronze goddess but I love this foundation so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face with my favorite beauty blender this color is actually perfect for me like it is my color i can't describe i have never had a foundation that fits me so well but yeah i'm just going to be blending this in blend it blend it so moving on to concealer i'm using the colourpop no filter concealer in 46 i'm just going to be applying this underneath my eyes on my nose on my nose and my forehead upper lip area and on my chin i'm just going to be highlighting underneath my eyebrows a little bit i didn't highlight my eyebrows before i put my foundation so i'm just going to do it now and i'm going to blend that out with a blending brush So 
So I'm just going to use the Real Techniques blending sponge to blend out the rest of the highlighted areas on my face. So I just picked up the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in 58, I'm just using that as a base for my bronzer. Um, I don't really like to a liquid contour, I feel like it makes my face look very harsh and I feel like bronzing makes all my makeup look very seamless. So I'm just blending that out with I think that is a Tarte Beauty Sponge. Yeah, that's a Tarte Beauty sponge. I'm just using that to blend out my bronzer. No <laughs> Although we're not going to be using any eyeshadow on my actual eyelids, um, I just like to use a bit of primer to cancel out any possible darkness on my eyelids. I'm just using the P. Louise eyeshadow base in 5 and I'm going to blend that out and set that with some RCMA powder. So picking up the RCMA powder again, I'm going to set the highlighted area underneath my brows and also the other highlighted areas on my face. So underneath my eyes, my nose, my chin and my forehead. So I'm just going to lightly set everywhere that I didn't highlight with my MAC Skin Finish in Dark. So I'm just going to add some colour back into my face, I'm using the Fenty bronzer, um, I forgot what colour it is, I'm going to leave that on the screen, um, I'm just going to bronze everywhere on my face, mainly focusing on my five head and my cheeks. To tie the look together, I am using this peach blush from Sleek, it is called Life's a Peach. So I'm just going to set my face with the Morphe setting spray before I use my highlighter. So the highlighter that we're using today, you've probably seen it in my haul video, it is the Nymph Highlighter by Huda Beauty. Um, this colour is in Aurora. This highlighter is so beautiful, look at it. It doesn't remove the foundation or any makeup underneath, which is why I like using it on my face. And it's actually quite blinding. So I've just picked up this pink eyeliner from LA Girl. I got this off Beauty Bay. I feel like when you're doing a pop of color on your lower lash line, it's always a good idea to put that same color in your waterline. Honestly, I hate lining my waterline, this is why I never do it, like the struggle was real. So I've just picked up the Take Me To Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to pick up that pink colour in the top left hand corner and I'm going to apply that all over my bottom lash line. So we're just prepping our eyelashes for some falsies. Mm -hmm. 
if you're not really into falsies, mascara can just be a look for you. But you know, I'm not that type of girl, so I put on some dramatic lashes. So I'm going to set my face for the last time. I felt like adding a little bit more highlighter on my face, so I just picked up the MAC Global Glow Highlighter. So time for lipstick, I'm just going to remove the excess foundation or whatever that I have on my lips and I'm lining my lips with MAC Chestnut. The liquid lipstick that we're using today is by Gerard Cosmetics, it's in 1995. And the lip gloss that we're using is by L'Oreal Paris in 110. So the makeup's done, I'm just going to go back to my hair and put the finishing touches to it. So I've just picked up the Keracare Wax and I applied that on my closure and I'm using the hot comb to melt it and make my closure look super flat and super laid. I love to do this with all my wigs and I'm just applying some more hair oil. And yeah, guys, this is the finish look. I look summertime fine, summertime ready and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bell down below. Bye guys, love you. Mwah.